Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we wrapped up all the boss free matches in this kingdom, and we also did a picture match, uh, and the races actually, so we've nearly done here. Uh, there are four more moons to be collected, one of them is impossible because we can't enter first person mode, uh, two of them are in this direction I think. And the last one we can only get once we've gone to the dark side and done some stuff over there, so we'll be coming back for it. Uh, it's a Toadette moon, basically. You just have to do a bunch of stuff. And we can't possibly do all of it until we've gone over there. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, the last two moons are down this hole here. So we're going to jump down the well. To enter the hardest 2D section in the game. <laughs> First, we have to enter the pipe, of course. Which is a challenge in itself. Although, it should be possible. Uh, trouble with this particular pipe for some reason. This isn't any different to the other pipes. It's not like the one in Bowsette's Kingdom, which has the weird, um... Like the weird animation. This is a regular pipe. I should be able to enter it. I mean, if it's impossible, that would simplify this video because I wouldn't have to do it, but I don't think it's impossible. It should be possible to get in there. Both of the moons are actually in 2D, so we can't do, we can't, there's no possible way we can skip this using clever 3D platforming shenanigans. We have to go through this pipe, and I don't understand why we're not managing to do it. That should let us in, but it's not doing it. I don't know what I'm getting wrong with the timing. This one is different? I mean, I, I wouldn't expect it to be. But I'm having a lot more trouble with this pipe than every other pipe we've gone into in the game. Except for the one in Bowser's Castle. Hmm. Why does not have the timing right? Okay, so when you go in the pipe, it plays a couple of sound effects. It's the entering the pipe sound, then a mushroom sound, and then a third sound as you're exiting the other pipe. I'm trying to use those sounds to time it, but I'm having a little trouble. So it's going to be a hassle, especially if we die in there at all and have to go back in. I 
can't do it. It's not. It's not happening. I don't know why. It sounds like it's not finishing the first sound, as though this one's programmed differently in some way. Maybe I can't actually enter this one after all. Okay, I'm gonna go back to another one of these pipes and just test out the difference. Um, I'll have to change kingdoms to do that. But I have the f I have a feeling that that one is programmed in like a special way, um, uh, because that area works a bit differently to the other 2D areas in the game. Um, in a way I can't demonstrate because I can't get in there. Uh, so if I head back, I guess Cascade Kingdom probably would make sense. Also, if you can hear the Cascade Kingdom music, which is amazing. It's the closest one, so... I believe the menu doesn't wrap around, so you actually have to scroll across to get to Father Kingdoms, like, all the way, which is a little annoying. I may be wrong. Uh, I haven't really tried to see if it wraps around, so it might, it might, it might wrap around. Who knows? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna head back to Cascade Kingdom and see if I can get in the pipe over there. As you may remember, this kingdom is 100% complete, including the stuff in the 2D section. So I already know it is possible to get in there. So this will test whether my timing is bad or something to do with that particular 2D section is bad. I could just warp there, but, you know, I like having, I like having a little wander around. Rap, rap. <laughs> okay, so this 2D section, the first one in the game. Let's see. Okay, now the sound is the same. Okay. So I must just be timing it wrong somehow. I don't know how though. So I could get it I could get into these before and I haven't changed my strategy. possible that it got patched or something? I doubt it. Um, there was a system update for the Switch, like, firmware today, uh, but there wasn't an update for this game, so I sincerely doubt they actually changed anything in Odyssey by doing a system update. Um, that would be really, really weird. I still can't pull off that jump, though. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, you, you all know I've been in there before. We have we have video footage of me entering that area and getting those moons. So I know it's possible. But I can't seem to do it now. So weird. Hmm. 
like there's no point leaving until I can figure this out. get in. Did they change something? I really doubt it. Like, if I look at the, um, you can see it's still 1.2. It hasn't, that version hasn't changed. So, I don't think a change to the system menu would have changed this game. That seems really unlikely. Um, but I can't seem to get in there anymore. And I don't know why they would change it anyway. It's not something that makes sense to change. But I can't get in there. Slipped off. Okay, so something's gone really strange with these 2D sections. Um, I was convinced I was going to be doing the hardest one in this video, but something else came up <laughs> by the looks of things. Um, so... I mean, I've been through a whole bunch of these pipes throughout the game. I know it's possible to enter them while permanently crouching. But I, now I can't do... Is it possible that the outfit I'm wearing is causing that? Have I done any 2D sections wearing this outfit before? It just occurred to me. Uh, let's try changing just back to the regular Mario outfit. Uh, because I think your sprite might be a different, like, height. And it's possible that some sprites don't quite work. Um, so let's head back to the Odyssey. Uh, there's no wardrobe in the shop in this kingdom, even though there is a shop. The shop is just those two uh, bonneters hanging out that are outside. They don't have a wardrobe, so you have to go back to the Odyssey. Uh, the Odyssey's pretty close to the shop, so it's not a big deal, but it's kind of weird. Alright, so yeah, let's just switch back to the regular Mario outfit. There we go. And try that, and see if that makes a difference. Because if it does, that would be interesting. Um, it wouldn't help us with the Bowsette's Castle one, because that one you have to wear a certain outfit to get in there at all. But it might help us with our current predicament. <laughs> Let's head back over there and have another look. Now that we're wearing a traditional outfit, this is the one you have to wear at this point in the game, because outfits don't get unlocked until you make your way to the Sand Kingdom. Uh, you get your first outfit, and also, when you arrive there, there's a shop that lets you buy a bunch more. <sighs> Alright, so let's give this another look. Now that we're dressed as traditional Mario, let's see if it makes a difference. Hmm. Well, not yet. Uh, let's give it a few more tries, though. Or a van slipped off again. I don't think that's any different. I think I think it has actually the timing feels different. I I feel like going down that pipe earlier than before. That may maybe something changed in the system update. Like I don't understand why it would have done, but that's all I can think of at this point. Because I can't figure out why I can't enter these pipes anymore. Hmm. I might need to go back and look at the older videos and see if I can figure it out. I mean, if the system update changed things, then actually there are a lot more impossible moons than we already have. Uh, because the game's been patched, but... 
don't know why they would patch the game to make this impossible. It doesn't make really make any sense to be something to change. If you listen, you can hear those noises are overlapping for, like, coming out of that pipe and going back into that pipe inside. So maybe that's relevant? Maybe. Um... <sighs> Maybe the outfit I'm wearing here isn't one that this will work with. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Hang on, I'm just gonna skim back over some of my previous videos here. Uh, it'll let me. I think it will. And I uncrouched accidentally. Okay, so Honey, Honey Loon Ridge had one of these pipes, right? Pretty sure it did. So if we head back over there and just have a look at the right section of the kingdom. This one, here we go. Okay, I was wearing the Doctor outfit in that scene, so maybe I should try that? Maybe. I don't know, it, it seems like it's just changed somehow. I mean, it seems incredibly unlikely that updating the system would have changed how Odyssey works, such that it's impossible to get into 2D areas again. Uh, well, not again. I mean, it wasn't impossible before, but it seems like it is now. Uh, I can't press ZR to scroll to the right because I have it held down, so we just have to do it manually like this. <laughs> uh, not a problem, it's just a little annoying. Uh, Alright, let's see if it's any different with the Doctor outfit. See, I have a hunch it might be outfit related, uh, which would mean that Dino Skip was necessary at the beginning of the game, uh, because you can't change outfits until you've done the First Kingdom. Uh, but if it's not outfit related, I have no idea what's going on. Um, uh, if we can't pull this off, then I may just have to move on to the next area of the game and just leave those two moons for the time being. Uh, although I'd be really surprised if they are indeed impossible. I, I wouldn't expect them to be. Uh, but yeah, my hunch is because your 2D sprite changes depending on the outfit you're wearing, it may affect the timing in some way. And it may be that some outfits can do it and others can't. So I'm using one that I know can because we used this one in Honey Loon Ridge to do the two day sections. Uh, and trying this again. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna let go of the crouch button as an experiment. Obviously it doesn't matter if I can get into here without crouching because this area um, we've already finished so I can't get any moons this way. Uh, but I'm gonna uncrouch just so we can test out a few things. So that's the noise it makes. And yeah, if you just nudge down on the stick, you will crouch again and just drop, drop through. So yeah, that's the same as before. Is it possible you need different outfits for different 2D sections? I mean, maybe. Let's... I'm just... I, I just can't think of anything else. Um... Let's, let's head back to Honey Loon Ridge and have a look at the ones over there that worked most recently. Uh, because I know I was wearing this outfit when I did it. Uh... And see if we can get into them now. Uh... Obviously the, like, A-side 2D section is easier to get into because that one 
uses a like down pipe instead of an up pipe to enter. Uh, but the B side does use a regular uh, up pipe, and so the fact that we're crouching should mess it up. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. See what we can find. Uh, so yeah, I was definitely wearing this outfit. Uh, I know because I just looked at the footage and I was wearing this outfit, and I managed to do it. Uh, so let's have another quick peek just at that kingdom over there and see what we can find. Okay, so the 2D section is, I believe, up on top of that big hill there where Talker 2 hangs out. So let's make our way over there. Down's a pipe. Okay, so I know this is possible because Cappy's saying doesn't think there's anything else to do here, which means we've done it. We've done everything that can be done here. Um, we managed to enter this pipe. Okay. I don't remember how I pulled it off, but I did go into this pipe without any trouble, eventually. Uh, I kind of wish I had, like, a thing showing my inputs so I could see what I was doing at the time that I got in on my footage, but I don't. Uh... I think the timing is different. It's hard to tell. Okay, I don't think I can get in there. Uh, maybe the system update changed how the controllers are handled, so that, like, there's a different amount of input lag or something, and... I don't know. I mean, it, it might be possible. I don't know why it would, would, would happen, though. It doesn't really seem to make sense as a thing that would happen. Okay, hmm. You can't downgrade a system update, so I can't, you know, change it back to test this out. Um. <sighs> okay, until further notice, I am going to continue to the next kingdoms of the game. Uh, leaving uh, those two possibly impossible moons uncollected. Um, so, the Mushroom Kingdom is at 100 out of 104. Uh, one of these Toadette Moons is absolutely possible, and we're going to be getting it. That's this one here, Art Investigator. We will be getting that. Uh, of the remaining three, for some reason we can't enter 2D sections anymore, for some reason. I don't understand that. Which means that these two aren't, can't be reached. Uh, that one would be easy if we could enter the 2D section. That one would still be very hard. Uh, and this one requires us to go into first person mode, so it's impossible. Uh, still, 100 out of 104 ain't bad. And that's 101, because we'll be getting that other one. Uh, so for now, since we, for some reason, don't seem to be able to enter 2D sections anymore, I'm just going to advance to the game's next area and come back to that once we figure out what's going on. Uh, later on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment a bit off camera and stuff, but for the moment, I'm just going to take us forward to the next kingdom. Uh, also, I'm going to be wearing this outfit because I wear what I want. <laughs> so I'm just going to head off to another kingdom. So, as you may have noticed from this map, ever since we got to 250 moons, we've had access to the dark side of the moon. Uh, we also have access to the darker side, which came up, came up at 500 moons. Uh, we'll be doing Dark Side first, because it's, you know, the earlier of the two. Darker Side is basically intended to be the game's final level, although you don't have to do it last. You can do it as soon as you have 500 moons from anywhere. Uh, but Dark Side is where we're going first, so... Our cute little Odyssey actually... The little Odyssey that actually looks towards the kingdom you're going to. 
I didn't notice that detail. It's super cute. Okay, uh, anyway. So, Dark Side is where we'll be going next. Um, this video is already 25 minutes, and I haven't managed to do anything. Uh, but I won't be playing Dark Side yet. I'm just going to head over there. Uh, and end the video at that point. Um, so, I don't know if they've changed how the game works in some way that's made it impossible to enter 2D sections whilst permanently crouching, or what? Uh, if they have in fact changed things such that it's become impossible, I am probably going to change my rules a little bit, allow myself to uncrash for a second to enter those sections, just to compensate for the weird change in the rules that they seem to have applied. Uh, doing that will actually make the two 2D moons in Bowsette's castle accessible, so uh, that'll, that, that will be something we'll be able to do if I end up deciding to change the rules. I'll think about it. Uh, I won't be allowing uncrouching for any other reason, so we still won't be able to get light from the ceiling or uh, the dance moons or bench friends or anything like that. It's just so you can enter 2D sections because it used to be possible and I don't know why it isn't now. Uh, in any case, this is the dark side, uh, Rabbit Ridge. Basically, there's a bunch of moons here. There are 24, uh, but to get to any of the interesting ones, you have to do that carrot first. Uh, the carrot just contains a boss rush, basically, and once you've done the boss rush, a whole bunch of other stuff, which is more interesting, unlocks. I don't know why they designed this area like that. Uh, it, I think it's a bit of a flaw, really, uh, that they don't let you do the more interesting things until you've done the one story moon here, which is the least interesting part of it. I don't know, it's weird. Uh, anyway, we have moon gravity again, because of course we are still on the moon, so you can do big jumps and stuff, it's pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. Um, next time, barring, you know, any sudden developments about how 2D sections work and why they suddenly are not enterable again, I don't think I was doing the timing wrong, because I tried a whole bunch of different attempts with different timings, and it should have worked, it just, it just didn't for some reason. And all I can think of is that there was a system update that maybe changed how inputs work in, in this game. I don't know why that would, but... I mean, it's possible, right? <sighs> anyway. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video in which nothing was accomplished. Uh, next time, we're going to start Rabbit Ridge. I'm probably going to be using Amiibo to get through the bus boss rush because it annoys me. And I don't feel like doing it normally because it's just annoying. Uh, but the, the real challenges here are going to be real challenges here and I'm looking forward to them. So uh, you should look forward to that too. Um, anyway. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I really hope that there's some way to enter 2D sections that just hasn't occurred to me. Uh, because that was working before, you all saw it. You saw me go through most of the game without any trouble with all the 2D sections. Uh, but right here at the final hurdle it just suddenly stopped. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I've said that like five times. I keep rambling. Bye! I like how you can hear the bubbling. If you can't close to this, you can hear the little bubbling noises that the Power Moon juice makes. Delicious.